Good morning, Facebook. It is Vanessa here, your motivational speaker, trainer, and head coach at Live Love Give. And today's message is one that I've been hearing over and over again with so many of you incredible people out there, you know, who are sort of facing these fears and sort of not like trying really hard to be positive, which you know, I want to dive into, but ultimately what I want to talk to you about is that facing reality allows for you to create a new possibility. So facing reality allows for you to create a new possibility. So, so many of us in this realm, we don't want to look at reality. Reality is where we're really scared, where our fears are residing. And we want to try anything we can to sort of push those fears to the side, to the sidelines. We want to have this positivity and, and this go get it sort of attitude. And we think that that is ultimately what's going to get us our results. And I'm here to tell you that it's not about positivity. I, I really believe that there is so much power in finding our fears, facing our fears and following our fears. And not to, not to see things worse than they are, not to see things better than they are, but ultimately to start from a place of seeing things exactly as they are. See them in the current set of reality because ultimately if you don't know where you are on the map, then you know, you're never going to be able to pure, get to where you want to get to on that map. So you've got to be able to pinpoint your current set of reality so that you know where you are and that is the foundation to leaping off and really accessing higher levels of your potential. You've got to be honest with yourself about where you are. So I hope that today's message is going to add some value, get you shifting your perspective a little bit, um, getting to look at things, see if you are sort of stepping out and avoiding the, the fears, avoiding the fears of your current circumstances. And ultimately, I want to encourage you to find the fears, to follow the fears and to face the fears because there's so much gold there. You know, I really believe that it's our fears that shine light on what matters most to us and so many of us are confused about what we want we're confused about who we are because we're avoiding the very things that give us more information as to what is most important to us as an individual so that we can start shaping and molding our lives to around things that matter to us that's where our spark our drive our energy lives and um, there's so much power in facing the fears not living there but definitely facing the up to reality and moving forward from a place of honesty and truth. So before I keep going on, I just wanted to say hi to Judy and Meritesh and Natalie. Nice to have you. And uh, Fazia and uh, Jasmine. Thank you. And Stephen from Michigan. I love it. And Adam and Eric. Nice to have you back. And Amine. Thank you so much. And Brian. Nice to have you from Chicago. And my friend. Great to have you back. And Jake and Ventura. Um, love it. And uh, like I'm positive, I'm in a bad situation. Yeah. You might be positive that you are in a bad situation and that's facing reality. Definitely. So yeah, move on from that perspective. Don't stay stuck. Like there's two realms of operating in fear. You avoid the fear at all costs and you try to just be positive, positive, positive and forget about the fears, avoid the fears. Or you're just so hyper focused on the fears that you miss all the great, you miss all the, the positivity and you miss all your opportunities to move forward. So it's about being in the middle of that. It's about accepting and seeing reality as it is right now so that we can pinpoint exactly where you are on that map and then start identifying exactly where you want to get to so that we can close that gap and you can move forward towards higher levels of your potential. So you've got to be able to be honest and with that reality piece about where are you? Where are you in your relationship? Is it fulfilling? Is it exciting? Does it juice you? Is it a place that you go to give and outgive one another and build each other up and challenge the best out of each other? Or if you're honest with yourself, are you not quite there on that map and you need to make some shifts, some changes? Be honest with yourself. Is it on your career path? Are you in a job that you hate that's draining you and 
you you want to find something better but you're too scared because you don't know what it is yet and you're too scared to sort of face that reality then you know my challenge to you is to to face it there is so much power and i know it's scary i know it takes a lot of courage to face those fears but once you start facing your fears you generate more and more trust and value in yourself that courage that confidence and it, and it just keeps um, snowballing from there if you just take that first step so I encourage you to do so and um, I'll keep saying hi to Gary and Belinda nice to have you and Ali um, awesome awesome and Jeremy, my friend, nice to have you. And Rondi, so grateful that you're liking these videos. And hi, Uncle, thank you for joining me. Yes, good morning to you, Jeremy. And Sabri, nice to have you. And Julio, um, so, so good. Uh, Domine Domenigo, um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Jasmine. I'm grateful that this is inspiring to you. And um, Eric, uh, we need to face our fears to move forward. Exactly, exactly. Find your fears, follow your fears, face your fears. Um, and if you guys are interested, I might even take you through a limiting beliefs exercise that I find so, so valuable in terms of breaking through those fears, identifying where they are. Um, if you've got a goal that you've been sabotaging your success around, like you just feel like you're setting this goal with your conscious mind, but ultimately it's our unconscious mind that is getting the goal or not getting the goal. So there's there might be an inner conflict which uh, prevents us from being able to achieve what we're saying that we want to achieve. And ultimately, a limiting beliefs exercise in identifying and bringing to the surface uh, those actual fears so that you can face them and break through them because we often don't know what that fear is that's going going on in our subconscious that's you know holding us back we, we seem like we're we're not trusting ourselves because we're saying one thing yet we're doing another and it's because we have that incongruency internally in terms of our fear holding us back so when we face it we can break through it and we can empower ourselves so awesome and graham nice to have you and uh yes belinda fear face everything and rise or fear every yeah <laughs> i love it i love it that's awesome and graham thank you so much Yes, love it, Jeremy. And uh, Julio, um, thank you so much for those kind words. Appreciate all of you guys out there. So, you know, part of this is that ultimately I want you guys to think about stop letting your avoidance of reality keep you blind to your potential and, you know, afraid to move forward. You know, avoidance is never a good strategy, ever. You know, and, and I know firsthand, you know, it's it's easy to sort of put your head in the sand to sort of avoid things, but ultimately that easy path you think you're taking at that time ends up in the long term, the really, really hard path until you learn the lesson, until you generate some courage to break through and find another way to face your fears, to face reality so that you can move forward from a place of truth and honesty. So I hope that you know, this message has been valuable to you guys. I hope it's got you thinking about, you know, where in your life right now have you been avoiding reality, avoiding the truth of the situation? And, you know, you, you might have best intentions, you know, maybe, maybe to face reality might mean you have to leave a relationship. Maybe to face reality might mean you have to leave a business. Maybe to face reality means that you got to make some shifts and it's going to be hard work. But ultimately, my message to you guys out there who are fearing the hard work, it is so much more hard work and um, detrimental to your belief in yourself when you go down what you think to be the easy path, when, which ultimately ends up being the really, really hard path. So I really encourage all of you guys out there to take an honest look about your current current set of realities in different areas of your life and be honest with yourself so that you have a great sturdy launching pad to leap off into that next level of your potential so that you can close the gap between where you really are and where you really want to get to. So I hope that this has been valuable to you guys. Um, I'll just keep in here. Um, just Caroline's joined me. I appreciate you and Jace. Love it. And thank you for your kind words. And Mike, 
Um, so, so great to hear that this is valuable. And Laval and Eric, I did the fire walking last year. I'll do it again sometime in October. Um, it's so helpful. Yeah, so the fire walking, I'm assuming you're talking about Unleash Your Power Within. An amazing experience. And I might just share a quick story about my very first Unleash the Power Within Tony Robbins event where you do the crazy fire walk and you walk across hot coals. And uh, the very what happens is you get partnered up with a stranger at that event um, to do this fire walk. walk. And it, it's a metaphor for breaking through your challenge to be able to see that you could walk across fire, you can break through any challenge, right? And the woman that I got partnered with actually had her whole leg in a big, like a strap on, strap off sort of cast and a broken foot she had. And she at this event, you know, had some really challenging things that she was trying to break through. And at this event, we got, you know, we were partnered up and we were encouraging each other to break through and be able to do it. And she actually took off her cast and she ran across these hot coals with a broken foot and I caught her at the end. You know, that it was just the most powerful experience for her to break through and you know, she she made so many life transformations at that event. She was in hysterical tears of joy by the end of that event, um, being able to see what she is capable of. And yeah, she inspired so many people to be able to even do it with a broken foot. Like that takes courage. And yeah, she got so much value for it from it. So just thought I'd share that quick story based on what you just said there, Eric. I love it. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Laval. Um, Julio, so, so grateful for you. And David and um, Ahmed, facing reality is painful and you're right, it's necessary to create any possibility. Exactly. When we don't face reality, we rob ourselves of the magnificence of possibilities surrounding us in every moment. So definitely, my, I have such a strong desire for you guys out there to really face your reality. Have the courage to face it truthfully, honestly, so that you can have the most sturdy launching pad for leap, leaping into that next level of your potential. You're all magnificent human beings out there and I can't wait to see you break through. I love it. There's nothing that lights me up more than seeing somebody step up and step out of their fears and step up with courage and break through to that next level of their potential. And I'd love to meet you. So if that's of interest to you, want me to help you with a current challenge that you're facing right now, you need to see a new perspective, a new level of breakthrough so you can yeah, ultimately reach that next level and stop, you know, get out of that, that, those fearful mindsets and break through to your freedom, then definitely book in a 15 minute power session with me. I'd love to connect with you, meet you, add value to your life. So definitely do that. And guys, wherever you are in the world today, I send you all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, positivity, and reality check. You know, I want you to break through to that next level. You've got to face your fears. So definitely let me know any questions that you'd like me to um, cover in any upcoming Facebook lives. I'd absolutely love to answer any of your questions, challenges, um, pop in any of your comments, any feedback for me as to how I could be adding more value to your lives. I'd love you forever if you could give me that feedback. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see all of you guys tomorrow. So sending you so much love.